Hi guys, I'm Kutai and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Node-RED to monitor a variable uh, on a PLC, an embedded system or any application and then go on to send an email notification to a relevant person when a search condition occurs. And for this demonstration I'm going to be monitoring the sensor on this uh, temperature module on my programmable automation controller. And again, the emphasis uh, is on demonstrating the simplicity with which Node-RED allows you to accomplish in minutes what would otherwise take you way much longer. So I'm going to begin by launching the Node-RED editor which is currently running on my controller. Okay, so what we want to be able to do is to read the value of the temperature from our temperature module and then send an email notification if the value of the temperature is above a certain set point. As you can see on the debug window we are getting our temperature value but the value is in degrees Fahrenheit so we have to convert this into degrees Celsius and since we don't have a dedicated node installed for making such a conversion we can make use of a function node that allows us to include custom JavaScript code to make the conversion. Now that we've got our temperature value in degrees Celsius, we now want to be able to set conditions such that if the value is above a certain threshold, we send an email notification to anyone who is, for example, responsible for maintenance. And then we use another function block to set our condition. So here we've set our condition to be such that if the temperature is above 23 degrees Celsius, we send the message temperature too high, otherwise we send the message temperature normal. And then likewise we've made our function to have two outputs such that the first condition goes to the first output and the second condition goes to the second output. And then now, in place of the debug node, we're going to put an email node to allow us to send an email when the temperature is above 23 degrees Celsius.
that brings us to the end of this video if you've got any thoughts questions or comments i'll certainly love to hear from you in the comment section below and if you found this video useful please share it with your connections